the sum of the interior angles of any triangle is 180 degrees. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Christian Relearns Math, where today I want to go through the intuition for why that is true. Why is the sum of the interior angles of any triangle 180 degrees? Well, first, let's remember what interior angles are. So we have a triangle here. Let's make it visible on the screen. So here we have our triangle, and you can see we've extended the sides of our triangle. And when we say an interior angle, all we mean is that it's the angle between two adjacent sides of a triangle. So for example, this is one of the interior angles of our triangle. We have another one here, and we have another one here. But for now, let's focus only on the one here. All right, so we have this interior angle. Let's label it angle A. Okay, now remember also that polygons have exterior angles. And an exterior angle is the angle between a side of a polygon and extending the adjacent side. So specifically, our exterior angle is this one. Ah, okay, cool. Now notice here, let's call this exterior angle X. Now notice here, what do, what does the sum of A plus X equal? Well, what does that look like? Well, remember that when an angle is a straight line like that, when an angle is on a straight line, we call this a straight angle. And straight angles have a measure of 180 degrees. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, that means that A plus X is 180 degrees. Okay, that seems useful. And if we look here, we can see that angle A, that's our interior angle, and angle X, that's our exterior angle, sum to a straight angle, sum to 180 degrees. And if we extend this to the other points of this triangle, the other exterior interior angle pairs, we will realize that that applies for each of the points on our triangle. Interior angle, exterior angle, and they all sum to 180. Okay, that's kind of cool. So I've gone ahead and colored the angles here to make it a little easier to follow. So we still have our interior angles, that's A in green, B in blue, and C in red. And then we have our exterior angles adjacent to them, and that's X in this lime green, Y in this teal color, and Z in orange. So how do we go from this to proving that our intuition about A plus B plus C equals 180 degrees? Well, what are some other things? What are some other statements that we can say about our figure here, about our state of the world in this, in this figure? Well, one thing we might say is that from before, we recognize that A plus X, as in the interior angle and the exterior angle next to it, are a straight angle. Together, they form a straight angle, which means that they measure 180 degrees. And again, that's the thing we realized before. Straight angle, as in half a circle, 180 degrees. Okay, so let's write that down here. So our interior angle, and the exterior angle next to it, they sum to 180 degrees. Okay, and the same thing will be true for these other interior and exterior angle pairs. They will each sum to 180 degrees. Okay, so let's write equations for each of those. And then we have C plus Z is also 180 degrees. Okay, that's kind of neat. So we have these three equations, but what exactly can we do with them? Well, one thing to realize is that these three equations are true at the same time. So A plus X equals 180, that's a straight angle, yes. And in our same figure, B plus Y also equals 180, that's a straight angle. Huh, and the same thing is true for C plus Z that also equals 180. These are all true at the same time. So if we sum each of these left sides, and let's write that down here, we'll have A plus X plus B plus Y plus C plus Z 
that will equal what? Well, it will equal the three of our right sides. So 180 plus 180 plus 180. And now let's rearrange some of these additions. So we're simply going to group our interior angles together. So A plus B plus C and then X. These are our exterior angles. X plus Y plus Z and then three 180s added together is 540. Okay, so that's kind of neat, but how do, we, how do we go from here to A plus B plus C is 180? Well, what's another statement that we can say about our figure, about our state of the world here? Well, one thing we might consider is to remember that our triangle is still a polygon. And if we remember from before, one of the intuitions that we figured out was that the exterior angles of any simple polygon will sum to 360 degrees. Okay, well what are the exterior angles here? Well, that's x plus y plus z. So we can write that as an equation here. x plus y plus z equals 360 degrees. Now take a look at what we have with our two equations here. We have x plus y plus z equals 360, and we have a plus b plus c plus x plus y plus z equals 540. Okay, we have this x plus y plus z term in both equations. Well, we have a, we have a number value for that. We have a quantity, a known quantity for this x plus y plus z term. Okay, so let's substitute that in in this equation here. So let's substitute in 360 so we get a plus b plus c plus 360 for x plus y plus z. And then that equals 540. And so now if we subtract 360 from both sides, what does that leave us with? Well, we get a plus b plus c subtract 360. 540 minus 360 is 180. And that leaves us with a plus b plus c equals 180. a plus b plus c. Those are the interior angles of our triangle. So we use the couple facts here to figure this out. That an interior angle and its adjacent exterior angle will sum to 180 degrees, as in a straight angle. Okay, so we use that one. We also use the fact that the exterior angles of any simple polygon will sum to 360 degrees. And then we use the fact that multiple equations can be true at the same time in a figure in our state of the world. And that led us to the intuition that A plus B plus C, the interior angles of any triangle, is 180 degrees. So I hope you found that walkthrough helpful. I know I certainly do. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share it with a friend who needs to see it, all that good stuff. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye.